Okay, so we are going to take this in toward peacock today, which means this is going to be a very upper body focused flow. So keep that in mind. Definitely the shoulders, the upper back, the back line of the body as well. And we will get to peacock at the very end of class. And uh, in addition, we're working a lot on the bent arm strength as we go into things here. I have two demonstrations before we begin. So once we get in the main part of the flow from here, we're going to start this in the in downward facing dog. We're going to take a three legged dog and hold that shape and hop it back and forth. We've done this a bunch of times here, but to review. You're going to be in your downward facing dog, one leg up high, and I want you to really be intent on keeping it lifted like straight and really trying to keep it in line with the upper body when you're in this shape. So reach for the big toe, tense up the thigh, lock the knee, lower your hips so you feel this in the glutes, and that's really what we're targeting here. And I want you to hold that leg straight, keep it lifted. It's going to swing as your hips move back and forth, but hold the tension in your glutes as we move. Now you're going to look forward toward your hands, keep the base foot where it is initially, and just pump the knee, let your hips move straight up and down. And then you're going to press on that base foot, hop forward, keep that lifted leg straight, Press into your base foot, hop back. And this isn't that big a deal. If you look at the foot that's on the floor, it's not coming up all that high. You just have to press into your hands and take it back and forth here. It doesn't have to be dramatic. Now, on the other hand, if you want to take things a little bit further, if you want to move toward inversion, you're welcome to press into that base foot and maybe take it to the point where you start stacking your hips over your shoulders and make it more of an inversion. You can take it back and forth like that, but still keep your lifted leg straight. It's not just about getting yourself up as high as possible. I want you to hold that engagement. It's actually pretty damn hard to hold that leg straight and be aware of the tension as you're moving. So work it back and forth. We'll end up at the front of the mat and we'll move into the flow from there. So keep that in mind. At the end of the sequence, I'm going to cue this into crow. And what we're going to do for crow this week is basically turn this into crow push-ups. So coming into that, this is going to be a very flattened version of crow. So rather than setting your knees on your arms, bring your knees outside your arms to let your body flatten out. This will be much more stable and easier to move from. And then to shift things back and forth into this push-up, the idea is you're going to pull your elbows back so you can dip your shoulders and your head down as a counterbalance. And then you're going to shift your weight forward when you come back, forward, come back up and lift. And this doesn't have to be too dramatic. Maybe only lower about an inch or so and come back up and that's fine. I'll show you how deep you can go, bringing your nose all the way down to the floor if you want to take it there but don't get too cranked up on the depth be sure you can actually move lowering and lifting with control holding enough tension that you're still in the arm balance the whole time we'll do three repetitions of that each round so what's going to happen is you're going to set your hands down shoulder width dig your fingertips down lift the heels and bring the knees outside your arms now again you're going to flatten this out so be sure the knees are wide and squeezing in look forward and lean when your feet lift bring the big toes into touch keep gripping the floor with your fingers and then we move back and forth from here you're going to pull the elbows back let your head and your shoulders sink down and then shift your weight forward and lift back up and if you want to take it deep maybe pull back enough that you can get your nose down to the floor or come close and be sure your legs are squeezing in as you bring it forward and lift again. We'll go back and forth like that three times. It doesn't look like a whole lot. When you're in the middle of it doing it, it takes a whole lot of tension. You're probably going to be a little bit tapped out after each round once you've done that. Um, if you've got a little bit of extra energy, you can fly your crow back into Chaturanga. Let's see what you're up for here today. But just work things as best you can, and this will help you set up for the strength that you need coming into Peacock at the very end. So keep that in mind. So to start, let's go ahead and bring this down onto our backs. And once you come down, just go ahead and lengthen your body out fully. So straight legs, side by side. Reach your arms out past your head, palms open toward the ceiling. And we're gonna keep ourselves long here and work this sort of banana shape to stretch out through the sides. So keep your palms open toward the ceiling, but set the left hand on top of the right. And hook that left hand with your right thumb and keep your hips in place. Bring your right foot over to the right side with the legs still straight. And then left ankle over the right. So the right foot's going to hook the left to keep that left leg pulled out to the side. Now keep your pelvis where it is. With your right hand, pull the left arm over to the right. Maybe your shoulders move a little bit as well. But still, keep your chest open toward the sink. Still stretch your body long through the feet and through the hands, even as you're bending over to the right side. Bring your gaze over to the left. And then just breathe deeply here. Keep lengthening out as you feel that extra length on the left side. Take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just release this. Come back into center. Reaching long through both arms and both legs. And then let's take it the other way. So set the right hand on top of the left. Hook the right hand with your left thumb. Bring your left foot over to the left side. Keep the hips in place and right ankle over the left to hook the right foot. Now use that left foot to keep pulling that right foot over to the side. Use your left hand. Draw the right arm left as far as you can go. Maybe your shoulders move a bit. 
But still, lengthen this out. Reach to the fingertips and toe tips as you're bending and leaning over to your left side. And bring your gears over to the right. Just breathe here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release this. Come back to center, stretching long through both arms and both legs. And then go ahead, bend your knees and set your feet down flat, about hips with distance. Lean the knees in toward each other to help release your low back to the floor. And let your arms relax, let your shoulders sink down, let your elbows bend. Keep your palms open to the ceiling. And if you want to bring the arms further down, feel free. You can stretch this out further past your head, whatever is most comfortable for you here. But let your chest open up. And then just close your eyes. So just give yourself a moment to settle in like this. Let your mind quiet down. And then just start to deepen your breathing here. So with the inhales, pulling as much as you can. Try to fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. And then when you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing, let this to begin. Now when you're ready, take a deep inhale. With the exhale, just open your eyes. And then with an inhale, reach your arms out long past your head, stretch this out. And with the exhale, just bring your arms down to your sides. Back and forth, inhale, reach this out long. Exhale, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach this out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach the side long. And with the exhale, this time bring the arms down, but curl up as well. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. Stay lifted here. Belly pulled in, low back down. Keep looking forward. And then go back and forth from here. With your next inhale, roll this out. And then with the exhale, curl this forward. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl forward again. Inhale, roll this out. Now with the exhale, curl, but reach to the right of your legs. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl to the left side. Inhale, roll this out long. Exhale, curl right again. Inhale, roll this out. And with the exhale, curl this left. Inhale, roll out long. Exhale, curl right again. Inhale, roll this out. Exhale, curl to your left side. Inhale, roll out long. And then with the exhale, this time just curl forward. Stay lifted. Belly pulled in, low back down. Keep looking forward. Stretch your fingertips. Try to bring your shoulders up a little bit higher. And then with your next inhale, roll this out long. With your exhale, just keep your arms reaching. Bring the hands and shoulders down to the floor. And then just go ahead and fold your knees right and left. Let your body twist and just loosen up lightly here. And then go ahead, bring your knees back into center. And we're set up for a variation of bridge. The so feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring your heels in close. You start with your low back basically flat. And then bring the arms down at your sides with the palms down to the floor. Keep your gaze up high. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, press in your feet, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, press your hips high. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your hips again. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, press your hips high. And then with the exhale, lower. Now inhale, lift one more time, hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep the hips pressing up and just breathe. 
And then as you hold this, I want you to keep your glutes engaged. The hips stay high. We're going to work a twist from here. So lift your right hand up off the floor. Now stretch your right arm pa past your head and over the left shoulder. Let your body twist. Try to stack your shoulders here. And then bring it back to center. Hips are still high. Lift the left hand. Reach up and over. Past your head as far as you can go to the right. Hips still lifted. Come back down. Come back to center. And then reach the right arm over the left again. Let your body twist. Bring this back to center here. Left arm up and to the right. Take it as far as you can. And then back to center. Glutes still squeezing. Hips pressed high. Right arm over to the left one more time. And then come back into center here. Left arm up or to the right. One more time. Stretch it out. Back to center. Hips still lifted. And then dig in your heels. Lift your toes up off the floor. Squeeze your glutes and try to pull the heels toward your shoulders. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, roll this back down. Now once you come back down, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees. Squeeze everything in. And as you're squeezing, curl up into this. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. Now when you're ready, go ahead and use this shape. Cross at the ankles. Roll this forward to a seat. And then keep holding your knees and sit this up tall. We're going to take this right in the boat. So legs side by side. Draw the thighs into your torso as close as you can. And sit this up tall. Press your low back forward. Lean back just enough to take your feet up off the floor. Now, as you're ready here, I want you to hold that compression. Close the gap at the hinge of the hips and try to keep it closed. But release your hands and bring your shins up toward parallel with the floor. And we're going to go back and forth from here, rolling back and coming back to this position. So work this as best you can. Try to find your balance each time. So just bring the right foot behind your left leg here to start. Now roll this back. Keep your spine rounded. Come forward with the shins together parallel to the floor. And then left foot behind the right leg. Roll this back. And then come forward, legs side by side, back to balancing. Right foot behind your left leg again. Roll this back. Come back up to your seat, back to boat. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll this back. And then bring it up to center, legs together. Right foot behind your left leg again. Roll this back. Back up to balancing, both legs together. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll this back. And then bring yourself up. Come back to boat. Right foot behind the left leg. Roll this all the way back. And then bring yourself up, fine boat. Left foot behind the right leg, roll this back again. And then come back up, legs together. One more round, right foot behind your left leg. Roll this back. And then bring yourself up, legs together. Left foot behind the right leg, roll this back. And then come back up, back to boat and hold here. Now to take it further, reach your arms forward between your legs. Take hold of your big toes. And just work to sit this up tall before you do anything else. So again, press your low back forward. Try to keep your spine vertical. Draw the thighs and close feet about hips with distance. And just keep your spine as upright as you can. Now if you want to take it further, maybe lift your feet a little bit higher. Maybe extend further still, but still work to sit this up tall. Keep your gaze forward best you can. And then try to take it even further. So engage your core. Pull in through the belly. Round your low real ribs, keep your thighs tense, your legs squeezing in, and see if you can hold this shape, but still release your grip. Take an inhale. With the exhale, release. Cross at the ankles, come forward your hands, and come into all fours. And once you find all fours, just move around. Stretch your hands. Stretch your fingers, let the shoulders and hips move side to side, and feel things out. And feel out where you're loose and where you're tight. And then come back into center in all fours. Let's take this into the wrist right away. So just keep your hips stacked over your knees, but slide the hands in a little bit closer, maybe about two hands lengths forward. Make your hands into fists, four fingers into your palms, thumbs outside. Press the fist down to the floor with the hands still about shoulder width. And keep the fist curled like this. Keep the fingers pulled into your palms. Now we're going to take it side to side. So bend to the right wrist, come to the back of the right hand. You can bend the elbow as much as you need. And then back up onto the knuckles. Do the same on the left side. And then come back up and just keep on alternating, going back and forth, side to side. Now the fingers stay curled in, the fists stay clenched tight. Bend the elbows deep if you need to back off, but if you want to take the intensity further, try to keep your arms as straight as you can. And then just give this another round or so. Try to finish with the back of the right hand down on the mat. Come to the back of the left hand as well. And then press the fists into each other. So they're going to stay curled in like this. Try to straighten your arms as much as you can. Now from here, take it side to side. Bring the right elbow all the way down. And then come back to center, back to straight. And then left elbow down. 
and then come back up and keep going back and forth like this. Now, each time you come back to center, try to straighten your arms a little bit farther and just work that stretch, moving through the backs of the hands and up into the forearms. And then just give this another round or so. Finish with the left elbow down before you come back up to center and just hold for a moment here. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, spread the shoulder blades apart. And then take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release this. Come up onto the fingertips. And since we're taking this into peacock, we're going to work the entry here for the next wrist stretch. So go ahead, bring your knees out wide, wider than your hips. Big toes point toward each other like you're coming into child's pose. And then bring your hands in close. So you're going to set your hands down on the line that you can draw between your knees. Palms down. Rotate your fingers at least 90 degrees right or left. And if you can take it further, try to point the fingers in toward your feet. The wrist stretch is actually part of the pose, which is why we're using this here. So set your palms down flat. Spread your fingers out wide. Dig your fingertips down into the mat. And then just keep your seat down low. Pull your chest forward between the upper arms. Now keep your chest open here as much as you can. You're trying to hold more or less a back bend in the upper back. Pull the elbows in toward each other so they're pressing toward your ribs or the muscles of your core. And keep some weight on your arms like this. And then we'll go back and forth. So as you're gripping, look forward. Shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Just lower a little bit. And then come back up and keep weight on your arms. And go back and forth like this with your fingertips digging down. Now, careful not to just jam your face down to the floor. But as you get used to this, you can always take it down deeper. Keep in mind. And then the next time you bring your weight forward, stay forward here. And again, you don't have to go too deep, but keep the tension, keep your fingertips pressing down, keep the elbows pulling toward each other. Now to take it even further, go ahead, slide your knees out wider. That puts more weight on your arms. And if you can take it further still, look forward, lean a little bit more, and see about just lifting your knees up off the floor for a moment, moving toward that peacock pose. And if you lifted the knees, go ahead, set them down. Now come up onto the fingertips and down to sitting on your heels and take a moment. Shake your hands out. Loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists. And then we'll take this further into the upper body to prep this for peacock. So bring yourself back into your all fours. And we'll take a lopsided setup from here. So I want you to come down onto the right forearm, but stay in your left hand. Right elbow to the side. Right hand moves into center. That forearm's diagonal. Slide your left hand back. Stack the elbow above the wrist and keep your elbow pulled in. Now just look straight down. Tuck the toes of both feet. Lift your knees and bring your hips up high. Walk the feet in. Get your hips up as high as you can. Now, as you're looking down, you can just hold here, and this is fine. Keep that left elbow pulled in. But if you can take it further, inhale the left leg high. And then with the exhale, bring that knee down and touch the left arm. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to arm again. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left arm. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, knee to left arm. Inhale the left leg high and keep it lifted this time. Move into a scorpion shape. Bend the left knee, hang the left foot right. Left elbow still pulled in, still looking down. With an inhale, straighten your left leg. With the exhale, bring that left foot to the floor. Bring your knees down to the mat. And then just come up to all fours. Take a couple breaths. And of course, you do one side, you got to do the other. So when you're ready, come down onto your left forearm, but stay on the right hand this time. Left elbow to the side, left hand moves into center, that forearm's diagonal. Slide your right hand back, elbow above the wrist, keep the elbow pulled into your side. Now tuck the toes of both feet, lift your knees and bring your hips up high. Walk the feet and get your hips up as high as you can and keep that right elbow pulled in. You can always just stay here. And if you want to take it further, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm, touch it down. Inhale the right leg high again. Exhale, knee to right arm. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to arm. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to right arm again. And with your next inhale, lift the right leg. Keep it lifted and scorpion the pose. Bend the right knee, hang the right foot left. Keep your right elbow pulled in. With the next inhale, straighten the right leg. And then with the exhale, set the foot back down. Bring your knees down to the mat. Come back up to all fours. Take a couple breaths here. And then one more thing before we move, move on from this part. So I want to take this into a modified push-up. And from here, I want you to treat this basically like an extended chaturanga. Now, you're going to keep your knees down to the floor. But when you come down, the idea is not to get your face to the floor, not to get your chest to the floor, but to get your shoulders as far forward as you can go. So you're going to bend your arms toward 90 degrees, and the upper arms should be moving toward parallel to the floor. And then I want you to feel this in the front of the shoulders by projecting as much of your body as, forward, as far forward as you can. This will be uncomfortable, but 
this is what builds strength. Keep the elbows pulled into your sides the whole time, just like when you're coming to Chaturanga. Now to set this up, keep your hips stacked over your knees, but bring your knees together. And then from all fours, slide the hands a little bit close to your knees, so the hands are only about two lengths forward. Rotate your hands, palms down, fingertips point to the side with the middle finger, right or left, about nine degrees to the side. Now press in your hands, dig your fingertips down. Lean forward with straight arms so the shoulders are past the wrist. This is your starting and ending position from here. And we'll just take it back and forth slow. Now look forward, keep looking forward. And then shoulders forward, pull the elbows in, bring it down halfway and keep leaning forward. And then press it back up to straight arms, keep the tension in your hands. Shoulders forward, elbows pull in, keep extending forward as you come down toward halfway. And then press back up the straight. And then again, shoulders forward, elbows in, keep leaning forward, hold here, keep gripping. And as you hold this, bring the right big toe past the left edge of your mat, and then set the right knee back down. Arms are braced, left big toe over to the right, and then set that left knee down. And then press back up the straight arms, and then just move around for a moment. All right, now this is not easy, and I'm breaking this up into three sets. We're doing three, three, well, th three repetitions each time. Keep in mind, because I don't want to kill everybody here. So just loosen up for a moment, and then come back into position. So hips stacked over the knees. And again, hands a little bit close to the knees, but still shoulder width. Fingertips out to the sides, right and left. Dig into the fingertips. Straight arms. Bring your shoulders forward. Start from here. And then shoulders forward. As you pull the elbows in, come down toward halfway, and keep leaning forward. Press it back up the straight. Now keep your gaze forward, pull the shoulders forward, squeeze the elbows in, and lower and lean. And then press back up the straight arms. Again, shoulders forward, elbows pulled in, keep leaning forward here, and hold. And then bring the right big toe over to the left, and set your right knee down. Left leg extend, big toe over to the right. And then set the left knee down. And then press back up the straight, and relax for a moment here. And keep in mind, the forward lean of the shoulders is where we're trying to go, both with peacock and with those crow push-ups we're going to be doing during the flow. Come back into all fours, and let's take the last round. So again, knees together, hips over the knees, arms straight, fingers to the sides 90 degrees, and start with the shoulders past the wrist as your arms are still straight here. Look forward and keep looking forward. Shoulders forward, pull the elbows in, come down and extend this out. Press back up the straight arms. Shoulders forward, elbows in, keep extending this forward and then bring it back up the straight. One more time, shoulders forward, elbows in, now hold here, keep looking forward, keep leaning. Extend the right leg, big toe over the left, and bring the knee down. Extend your left leg, big toe over to the right, and set the knee back down. Press back up the straight arms, and then just bring yourself down to a seat, shake your hands out from out, roll your shoulders out a little bit. And then when you're ready, just come back into all fours. Now, from all fours, you're going to stay here, move around, breathe, maybe take a break. Maybe take another stretch before we move on. But whenever you're ready, tuck your toes straight, your legs lift your hips. And find your downward facing dog. Now, once you move into your down dog, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Press your palms flat so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. And then sink your chest down low to the floor. And as your chest sinks down, press your hips up as high as you can toward the ceiling. Keep that long upward reach of the hips pulling through the belly, around the lower ribs. Use your core to lengthen your spine and reach your hips up higher. And if your legs are tight, let the knees bend. And maybe just stay loose. You can always pedal this out and let your hips move side to side. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees, look forward, step to the front. Let's take a ragdoll fold. Now feet about hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs, let your head hang, let your spine round. And just let everything go long and loose here, let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows, maybe shake the side to side to loosen even farther. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin, but then restack your spine. Slowly round this up to standing, bring your head up last. And then just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready here with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart center. Now take a moment here to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. With the next inhale, reach your arms up high. 
And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, stop the straight spine, put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly. And then just release at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift it up halfway, fingertips to the fall or to your shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat, let's step it back to high plank. Now find your shape, resting the shoulders, palms, press to the floor, press the floor, away from you, press your spine up toward the ceiling, keep that lift. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend, keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides, and lower with control, all the way down into your belly. Now once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And we'll take it up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck and chest. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time. Stay lifted this time. Now keep the lift in the upper body. Press into your feet. Take some or all the weight out of your hands. Elbows at your sides. Pull the shoulders back. Keep your gaze forward. And work to lift up a little bit higher still. Now as you hold that lift, reach your arms straight back. Pull the shoulders further back. Keep your feet pressing down. Keep your glutes squeezing. We're going to go back and forth from here. So take an inhale. And with the exhale, just roll this back down. Arms at your sides. Now inhale, lift this up. Reach behind. Take it further. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift up. Reach behind. Exhale, roll back down again. Inhale, lift up. Reach behind. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift up. Reach behind and hold here one more time. Now keep your glutes squeezing, keep your hips pressing down, keep looking forward. And let's take it further. If you can, take it to bow, bend into both knees, and then reach back with both hands. Now if the grip's not going to happen, just keep the knees bent, keep reaching. But if you have the grip, kick in your hands, draw your shoulders forward. Work to lift your knees and bring the weight forward toward your belly. Keep your chest pulling forward, keep breathing. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, release this. Chin down, arms at your sides. You can keep your knees bent and maybe windshield wipe your legs side to side. And then go ahead and bring your feet down to the floor. Now hands back under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. Press the palms down to the mat. And let's take this to upward facing dogs. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang. Stay on the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees up from the mat. To take it further, kick your feet down, squeeze your glutes, and pull the hips forward to deepen and lengthen the arc all through the front. Now lift with the arms, but lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward. Deepen up. And then with the exhale, pull your belly in. Hips up high, back to down dog. Paddle out. Let your hips move side to side. Now from your downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. Bend the right knee, open up to your scorpion dog. So hang the right foot left, let your body open up and twist you. Try to stack your hips. With the next inhale, straighten your right leg, come into your three-legged dog and hold. So reach for the right big toe, keep the right leg straight, tense up the thigh, lock the knee, feel this in the glutes, lower that right hip. And then look forward toward your hands, the left foot stays where it is, but bend your left knee, feel your hips move straight up and down. Now let's go back and forth, press into your left foot, hop this forward, right leg stays straight. Press into your left foot, hop it back. Press into your left foot, hop this forward. And then press into your left foot, hop it back. Press into your left foot, hop this forward one more time, and stay forward. Now bring the right foot down between your hands, left foot next to the right forward fold. Take an inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale to standing, reach yourself high. And then with the exhale, sink into chair. Put the weight heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Now as you settle in, just keep the feet within hips with distance, big toes and knees towards center. And we're going to go back and forth from here, twisting. So take an inhale. And with the exhale, hands through center, right elbow outside to your left thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up high, look forward. Exhale the other way, hands through center, left elbow outside to your right thigh. Inhale to center, reach up. Exhale, take it through, right elbow outside to your left thigh. Inhale to center, reach up. Exhale, bring it through, left elbow outside the right thigh. Inhale to center one more time. And then with the exhale, bring the right elbow outside your left thigh again and hold here. Now keep your knees lined, legs squeezing toward each other. Right elbow presses the left thigh, press the palms, get a look up over your left shoulder. And maybe sink the hips down further, keep breathing and twisting. Now you're still in chair, take an inhale. And with the exhale, hands to center to square your chest forward. Put the weight to your left foot, lift your right heel. 
and then very slowly extend the right leg back, bring yourself into a warrior three. Now maybe at a more upright angle, maybe toward parallel with the floor, but try to keep your hips level and keep your bo lifted body in one long straight line. With an inhale, slowly bring this upright with the right knee lifted, hands to your hips. And then go ahead and set the right foot down. That'll be your base. Come to standing with your left knee high. Now be sure you got your balance. You dig down with the right big toe. When you're ready, bring the left hand underneath your left knee. And use that hand to draw the left knee higher. Point the toes down to the floor. Now go back and forth with your left leg. Extend it forward as straight as you can. And then bend the knee, but keep it high. Extend your left leg forward best you can. Bend the left knee. Keep it high. One more time. Extend your left leg. Bend the knee, keep it lifted like this. Now take hold of the left knee with the left hand. Draw it up higher, start to lean back, put a little bit on the right knee, open up your chest and keep looking forward. Now to go further, you can reach your right arm up and back. This could be enough. And if you want to go further still, left arm inside the left leg, find the big toe. Now maybe use that grip and pull the knee up higher. Maybe extend that leg forward and up, but take things the way you can. Now take an inhale, and with the exhale, slowly just bring yourself up, right hands, your hips, left knee still lifted. Let's take warrior one, left foot steps back, right knee bends, and give yourself a moment to set this up. Deep into the right knee, left leg straight, both feet flat with the left foot pointed to the side at least a little bit. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward, and adjust this so you can actually square your hips to the front. Shorten or widen the stance if you need to. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, elbows wide, open up your chest, let your head fall back, hold here, squeeze your shoulder blades toward each other, and keep your hips squared, left hip still pulling forward. Now just moving from the upper body back and forth from this arch shape to rounding. Take an inhale here. With the exhale, reach this forward around your spine. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, forward and round. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, forward and round again. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide, hold here. And then bring your hands to your low back, interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back, and press your knuckles down toward the floor. With your next inhale, just bring your gaze forward, keep the arms bound. Lean into the right foot, lift your left heel, take a high lunge stance, probably take the stance a little bit longer. But still keep the hip squared, left hip pulling forward, right hip pulling back, and keep your spine vertical. Now just go slow, dip your left knee down low, just above the floor, hold here. And then pulse this up and down on my count. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set the left knee down, flatten the left foot behind you. Take a kneeling lunge. Now both legs about 90 degrees, hips are still squared. Push down with the right foot, kick the left foot into the floor. And just move from the upper body here. Now round your spine, bring your torso down low inside the right leg. Hang your head down, press your knuckles toward the ceiling. And then press into the right foot, lift back up, but then press your knuckles toward the floor, draw the shoulders back and open up your chest. Bring it forward again, round your spine. Bring your head down low, press your knuckles toward the ceiling to stretch across your chest. And then push into the right foot, lift back up, knuckles toward the floor, lean back, gaze up high. One more time, bring it forward, round down inside the right leg. Lift the arms or lift the hands up toward the ceiling. Push into the right foot, bring it back up, and then lean this back. Press your knuckles toward the floor, draw your shoulders back, keep that left foot kicking down, and keep the arch in your spine, but release your bind, so release the hands. Right hand comes to your left heel. Reach your left arm high. Look down the length of the right arm, let your body twist, but try to stack the shoulders as much as you can, left above the right, and keep that left foot kicking down. Keep the hip pressing forward. Just breathe here. With your next inhale, turn to center, both arms high. And then with the exhale, hands down inside the right foot. Now slide the right foot back behind your hand. Step the left foot forward next to the right. And we're going to take it into crow right away. So hands to shoulder width. Dig your fingertips into the floor. Lift your heels. Knees outside the arms so we can flatten this out. Squeeze your legs in. Look forward and lean. And when your feet lift, toes to touch. Now when you're ready, start to work that crow push up. Pull the elbows back. And then sink your head down. Bring the shoulders down a little bit or a lot. Squeeze the legs in, bring your shoulders forward, and lift back up. Again, pull the elbows back and dip down to where you can control. Shift forward and lift back up again. One more time, pull the elbows back, keep your legs squeezing in, sink down. Shift forward, lift back up one more time. And then take it through your vinyasa when you're ready.
Now again, those curl push-ups are not supposed to be easy at all. You don't have to go for depth. You're just working to keep tension and control as you're moving. Once you find it down, dog, pedal out and breathe. All right, to take this to the other side. With an inhale, raise your left leg high behind you. And then take it to a scorpion dog right away. Bend your left knee, hang the left foot right, let your hips stack for a moment, let your body twist. With your next inhale, straighten the left leg through like a dog and hold. Now keep the left leg straight, reach for the big toe, tense up the thigh, lock the knee, feel this in the glutes on the left side. Look forward toward your hands, just keep the right foot where it is, but bend the right knee and feel your hips move up and down. Now go back and forth, press into the right foot, hop forward. And then press into the right foot, hop it back. Press into the right foot, hop forward again. Press into your right foot, hop this back. Now press into the right foot, hop forward one more time, stay forward. Left foot down between your hands, right foot next to the left forward, fold. Take an inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale to stand and reach up high. And with the exhale, sink back into the chair. Put the weight heels, bend your knees, bring your hips down low. Now again, feet within hips with distance, big toes and knees towards center, belly pulled in. Back and forth here, twisting, take an inhale. Exhale, hands through center, left elbow outside your right thigh. Inhale to center, lift back up and reach. And with the exhale, bring it through center, right elbow outside your left thigh this time. Inhale, reach this up, look forward. Exhale, twist, left elbow outside the right thigh again. Inhale, reach the arms up high, look forward. Exhale, right elbow outside your left thigh. Inhale, reach up one more time. And with the exhale, twist, left elbow outside the right thigh and hold. Now keep your knees in line, keep the legs pressing together, push the left elbow to the right thigh, look up over your right shoulder, try to sink your hips low and just breathe as you're twisting. And then you're still in chair, keep the knees bent, keep your hips low, but release the twist, hands to heart, center square this forward. Now put the weight to the right foot, just lift your left heel. And slowly extend the left leg back, bring yourself to a warrior three. Lifted body in one long line, maybe more upright, maybe toward parallel at the floor. Lower your left hips so the hips are square. You should feel this in the glutes on your left. With an inhale, bring yourself upright with your left knee lifted. And then switch it out. Hands to your hips, step the left foot down and bring yourself to standing with your right knee high this time. Now, once you got your balance, just press that left big toe down, bring the right hand underneath the right knee. Now lift the knee higher, point the toes down, and then just go back and forth. Extend your right leg as straight as you can. Bend the knee, but keep it high. Extend your right leg again. Bend the knee, but keep it high. Right leg straight. Bend the knee, keep it high, and just take hold of the knee with the right hand. Now, go ahead, bend your left knee, lean back, see about pulling that right knee up higher. And if you wanna go further, maybe reach your left arm up and back. Further still, you can reach inside the right leg, find the big toe. Maybe lift the knee higher with that grip. Maybe extend that leg up and forward. Still balancing here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring yourself upright, right knee lifted, hands to your hips. Take it to your warrior one ready, when you're ready. Just step the right foot back and give yourself a moment to feel this out. So deep in left knee, straight right leg, both feet flat with the right foot pointed to the side at least a little bit. Pull the right hip forward, left hip back, adjust this so his hips are actually squared and sink the hips down. Now with an inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, elbows out wide, open up your chest, let your head fall back, hold here, squeeze the shoulder blades toward each other. And then back and forth from this arch position to rounding. Take an inhale while you're here. And with the exhale, reach this forward around your spine. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, forward and round. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, forward and round again. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide, hold here. And then bring your hands to your low back, find the grip that feels strange, interlace your fingers. Pull the palms together, draw your shoulders back, press your knuckles toward the floor. And then bring your gaze forward or bring your torso toward upright. Now put the weight to your left foot, lift your right heel, and find your high lunge. Hips are still squared, probably a longer stance. Here, pull the right hip forward, left hip back, and just keep your spine tall. Now dip your right knee down low just above the floor. Hold this, and then pulse that knee up and down. On my count, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right knee down. 
Right foot flat behind, just take a kneeling lunge. So both legs about 90 degrees, hips are still squared. Kick into the right foot, keep that hip pressing forward, press down into the left, and just move from the upper body. So round your spine, bring your torso down low inside your left thigh, press your knuckles toward the ceiling, and then push the left foot, lift back up, knuckles toward the floor, draw your shoulders back and open your chest. Again, round this forward inside the left leg, come down low, press your knuckles toward the ceiling, stretch your shoulders. And then push the left foot, lift back up, knuckles toward the floor behind you, open up. One more time, round it forward, come down deep inside your left leg. And then press your left foot, lift back up, knuckles toward the floor behind, hold here. Now keep your right foot kicking down, keep your hips pressing forward, gaze up high. And then just release the bind. Now left hand reaches for the right heel, reach your right arm high. Look down the length of your left arm and try to stack the right shoulder above the left. So keep moving in toward this twist as that right hip is pressing forward. Keep the right foot kicking down and keep breathing. Now with an inhale, turn to center, reach up high. Exhale, hands down inside the left foot. Now once your hands come down, slide your left foot back behind your hands, step the right foot forward next to the left, and from your forward fold, take into crow. Hands to shoulder width, dig your fingertips down, lift your heels, knees outside the arms so you can flatten this out. Now look forward, shift forward, go slow. When the toes lift, bring them to touch. Now keep your legs squeezing in and take it back and forth for those push-ups. Pull the elbows back and let your head and your shoulders sink down a little bit or a lot, and then shift forward and lift back up. Again, pull the elbows back, let the shoulders and your head sink down, shift forward, lift back up. One more time, draw the elbows back, keep your legs squeezing. And when you're ready, shift forward, lift back up one more time, and move through another vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, just move around, breathe here. All right, now I know your shoulders might be burning already, but before we lose things, let's go ahead and take it right into Peacock. Bring your knees down to the floor, come into all fours. Now let's take the, we're gonna take two setups from here. The first entry is gonna be just like, pretty much the wrist stretch we had before. So go ahead, bring your knees out wide like you're about to come in child's pose. So knees wider than your hips, big toes point toward each other. Walk your hands in and again, you're gonna set the hands down on the line that you draw between your knees. So this is palms down. Fingertips rotated at least 90 degrees right and left with the middle finger. Now, if you're able to take it further, the wrist stretch is part of the pose. So if you can, go ahead and try to point the fingers toward your feet. Just come to where you can. It's a lot on the wrist. But when you set the hands down, they can go shoulder width or wider. Maybe you find you need to bring them in narrower. But you have to find a position of the hands that allows you to bring your chest forward between the upper arms and pull the elbows in underneath you. So if your elbows slide out to the sides, there's nothing to balance on here. So you're balancing on the shelf of the arms. Your elbows should press into the ribs or the muscles of your core. Now pull your chest forward. Concentrate on opening up your chest. Try to hold a back bend in the upper back. Try to keep your gaze forward. And then slide the knees out wider, more weight on the arms. And then look forward. Bend the elbows, lean forward. And as you're leaning, let the legs lift. You gotta lean forward to lift your lower body. Now the knees bent, that's gonna be the easiest version. If you can go further, extend out to the sides in a straddle, maybe squeeze the legs together. You still gotta lean. And just take that as far as you can. Now, it's not an easy pose, but it's certainly not impossible. It's more accessible than people tend to think. And it's that forward lean that gets you into balance and keep in mind. So if you find that you want to kick your feet up into the air, it's because you're not bringing your shoulders far forward enough, and you probably got to spend more time with tension in your shoulders. Now, you can work that entry again if you like, but if you want to take the second entry, some people find this is easier. And this is from plank, so it's a little bit more direct. So go ahead, bring yourself into your plank. Hand, shoulder width, step your feet straight back, bring your body in line, and bring your feet together to start. And then from here, just slide your hands back about one hand's length closer to your feet. And this is where you adjust the position of the hands. So palms stay down. Rotate your fingers at least 90 degrees right or left. And if you can take it further, go ahead and rotate your fingers toward your feet. Don't worry about this being exactly the same as the last setup. So once you set your hands, set this up so you can bring the upper body, again, chest between the upper arms, bend the elbows in, and set yourself on your elbows. Look forward, keep your chest pulling forward. Now, if you want straight legs for the shape, you can just lean forward and lift. And if you do this with bent knees, which is most people, let the knees go to the sides and the feet slide forward. Lean forward to lift your feet. Now, again, you can extend the legs out to the sides. This is a straddle. 
And if you want to bring the legs together, keep leaning and use the inner thighs to squeeze the legs in. And the more you straighten your legs, the more you have to use your glutes to hold the shape. Work it as best you can. And you can always take this further for a couple more attempts if you like. But my guess is you're probably going to want to wrap things up and cool down a little bit. So if you're interested, let's take this into half pigeon. Go ahead, bring yourself into downward facing dog. And then when you're ready, take an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. With the exhale, bring it forward, right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now bring your left knee down, flatten your left foot behind you, keep your hips square to the front, and just sink your weight straight down to the floor. Now look for at least some of that stretch in the outer right hip between the glutes. You can stay upright like this, you can go deeper toward a back bend. You can melt down to the elbows, you can take it down all the way. Just take it to where you need to right now, and there's nothing wrong with relaxing here, just breathe. All right, now from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. You want to take another pose, so lower yourself to the right hip, swing your left leg forward. You want to take this into Lord of the Fishes. So bring yourself to seated, right heel outside the left hip. Step your left foot outside the right thigh. And if it's too much to come into this position with both legs crossed, you can do this with the right leg extended and the left leg crossed over the right. Just get both sit bones down to the floor. Now, once you're ready, set the left hand down behind you. Inhale your right arm high. And with the exhale, bring the right elbow down past your left thigh. Sit this up tall. Reach the crown of the head straight up. Look back over your left shoulder. Keep extending up as you're twisting and keep breathing here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands over to your right side. Lightly open your chest up to the right. And then go turn back to center. Hands behind. Lean back. Untangle the legs. And then cross if the ankles come forward your hands. Let's step this back to down, dog. And we'll take all that on the other side. So once you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. And with the exhale, bring it forward. Left knee behind your left first left ankle. Somewhere behind the right. Right knee down, right foot flat behind, pull your right hip forward and keep the hips squared to the front as you're sinking down. Now look for at least some of that stretch on the left side, outer hip toward the glutes. You can sit this up tall, you can bring it further toward the back bend, and again, you can melt down to the elbows, you can take it down all the way, just take it to where you need to and just breathe into this here. All right, again, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. And then lower your left hip this time. Swing your right leg forward. And let's take that twist. So left heel outside the right hip, right foot outside your left thigh. And again, sit this up tall, both sit bones to the floor. You can always extend the left leg if you need to back off. But set the right hand behind you. Either way, inhale the left arm high when you're ready. And with the exhale, take it to the twist. Left elbow presses to the right thigh. Extend the crown of the head straight up. Look back over your right shoulder. Keep your left arm pushing into the right leg and keep breathing here as you twist.
take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands over to your left side. Lightly open your chest up to the left. And then turn back to center. Set your hands down behind you. Lean back on cross the legs. And this time, come all the way down onto your back. Once you're down, bring your knees into your chest and just squeeze things in tight. And then go ahead, release your left leg, extend it out fully. Left arm down at your side. Now reach the right arm inside the right leg and take hold of your big toe. Now pull the right big toe down, but at the same time, press your right foot up toward the ceiling and somewhere in between. Look for that stretch on the right hamstring. Now once you find that stretch, breathe into it, whether your knee's bent or whether the leg's straight. Just hold the tension. If you've got a straight right leg, draw the big toe directly over your shoulder. And if this is good enough, stay here. Now, if you want to take this with a different grip, then keep the right leg extended as is. And with your left hand, take hold of the outside edge of the right foot. Right arm comes down to your side. Now, keep that right arm grounded. And see about drawing the right foot over to your left side, but without lifting up your right shoulder. And see how that changes the stretch. Breathe into this here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release. Draw both knees in and squeeze down. Let's take the other side. When you're ready, extend the right leg straight this time. Right arm down to your side. Left arm inside the left leg. Find the big toe and pull down. Now as you're pulling, go ahead, extend that left foot straight up. And find that stretch somewhere in between. When you feel that stretch in the back of the left thigh, breathe into it. If the knee's bent, that's fine. Just hold the tension. If your leg's straight, draw the big toe over your shoulder. And if you want to take that other grip, keep the left leg extended as is, but bring the right hand to the outside edge of your left foot. Left arm down to your side, keep that arm grounded. And then see about drawing that left foot across your body without lifting up the left shoulder. Keep breathing here. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release. Draw both knees in. Take hold of your knees and squeeze down. And let's take happy baby. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. Now stack your ankles above your knees. Pull down on both sides. Draw your knees down toward the floor outside the ribs and press the feet back up into your hands at the same time. Keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten your spine. Sink your tailbone down toward the floor. And then if you can take it further, you rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, when you're ready, take a deep inhale here. Draw down as much as you can. With the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And then just let your eyes close here and let your body sink down into the mat. And then just start to move bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. 
Take a deep inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And draw everything in, bring the elbows toward your chest. Pull your knees up as well. And just find your way up to a comfortable seat. Now ground yourself into the mat here, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. And then take a deep inhale, hold on to it at the top. And just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.